John 3, Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, <laughs> that we should be called the sons of God. Yeah. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. <laughs> now for the queen, the thought of being a son of God is probably somewhat offensive. Yes. Mm -hmm. Back during King James Version, they didn't acknowledge women. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And every woman feels that it should be called the children of God. Yes. Mm -hmm. But what if I'm a son of God? Yes. See, there are certain faiths that gives you the belief that you're an actual offspring of God himself. Yeah. Now, I'm the result of my father and mother having uh, premarital sex when they were 16. Yes. Lying about their marriage certificate. Right. And uh, as a citizen of the United States, as much as I like the idea of being a son of God, yes, it kind of overdoes it a little bit. Ouch. I have faith in God. Yes. I believe that Jesus is my Savior. Yes. I'm very anointed. I'm a revivalist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like to lay hands on the sick and see them healed. Yeah. I like to cast out some devils. I like to do some revivalistic work as an evangelist. Yes. <laughs> Reaching out to the millions. <laughs> you know, I have a personal belief that my ministry will touch billions upon billions of those in humanity. <laughs> But I know, yes, that once I'm on that stage, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the larger the group of individuals that go to hear me preach, yes, the greater uh, the amount of anointing that I receive. Yes. A lot of those uh, in the ministry, yeah, mm -hmm. they realize that the bigger the congregation, the greater amount of anointing. See, it's Jesus in me, yes, the only begotten Son of God, yeah. That uh, he shows up, pooch, all of a sudden I'm laying hands on the sick and I'm seeing all kinds of miracles take place. <laughs> but while you're obstructing me from my ministry yes. of reaching to the lost and those that have various uh, physical ailments, yeah. as a revivalist, <coughs> I realize that the bigger the audience, the greater the anointing. <laughs> See, a long time ago, when I was by myself studying the various lives of those that were mm, Christian influencers, church, mm, there's a, a different kind of anointing when you're preaching in front of a hundred people. Yes. Than the anointing that you have when preaching in front of a thousand. Yes. To the anointing that you have when you're preaching in front of a million. <coughs> The greater the number of persons at, that are there at the meeting, yes, the greater the amount of anointing. <laughs> now, I'm kind of one of these that's wanting to spend some of my money. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And when I document these lawsuits right now, I really feel that I'm a revivalist. Yeah. I'm not an evangelist. I'm not really an apostle, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. a teacher, a pastor, or... <laughs> What do they call themselves? There's a teacher, pastor, evangelist. Oh, a prophet. Yeah, not this guy. Mm -mm. You know, my whole thing is to have the largest number of people at a physical location mm -hmm. where I preach the word of God. Yes. Then I invite them up uh, on, the, on the stage there. Yeah. You remember the tent meetings of the 1950s? Thank you. <laughs> You know, Amy Simple McPherson in the Foursquare. Yeah. Did we go through the guarantees of the structured finance? Oh. Oh, oh. Mm. is there some reason that Mike Van Proyen got all my court notices? Mm -hmm. See, a lot of pastors do know of my anointing, and it's something I keep to myself, but I'm for sure about this. I want a revival where or when I get to heaven, yep. a billion individuals are there with me oh, that I personally touch. And when you look at the growth of the population of the world, yes, seven and a half billion people right now, mm -hmm. all that garbage that could be used to make bricks, yeah, all that electricity that I'm missing out on being able to sell, yeah, and then the violating of the Commerce Clause and <laughs> establishing the binding precedence that you have to have no duopoly. I'm one of these that's going to want a billion individuals in heaven with me today, heaven with me today, because. 